Hello, dear traders, you're watching weekly review of the US stock market on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Nidachina. The US stock market finished one of the most tumultuous week of trading with weekly gains. Investors seemed undecided on how to interpret comments from Federal Reserve officials, situation on China's market and economic statistics. Fed Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher, in his speech, said that the central bank might move toward raising interest rates this year, but he didn't specify the months. The prospect of a rate hike in September, on the one hand, would prove steady economic growth, but on the other hand, it would help the US dollar strengthen further to have a negative impact on exports. On Friday, the Nasdaq Composite closed up by 0.3% at the level of 4,828.32, rising by 2.6% over the week. The Dow Jones Industrial Average ended with a loss uh, of less than 0.1% at uh, 17,743.01. The Blue Chip Index gained 1.1% over the week, despite the fact it uh, suffered a 1,000-point loss in a matter of minutes last Monday. The S&P 500 index added about a point on Friday, closing at 1,988.87. Most of the gains came from a rally in the energy sector in the wake of a big jump in oil prices. The benchmark index recorded a 0.9% weekly gain. Market reaction to the consumer spending and inflation reports, which came in at weaker than expected levels, was largely muted. Inflation remained below the Fed's target. This fact is likely to put pressure on policymakers when making decisions on the interest rate increase. On Thursday, economic data supported the US stock indexes, which finished in positive sector. There was published a report uh, showing the country's GDP growth of 3.7%. Analysts had expected the economy to expand by 3.2% only. In addition, the number of initial jobless claims fell from 277,000 to 271,000 versus the forecast of 274,000. Among the Dow Jones components, there was a positive dynamics. The best results were shown by Chevron, General Electric and United Health Group. Shares in ExxonMobil and Chevron rose by 3.24% and 6.23%, respectively. The energy sector demonstrated the strongest advance on the back of a rapid jump in oil prices. At the same time, shares of railway companies were those behind the leaders. Quotes of Norfolk Southern, CSX and Kansas City Southern went up by more than 4.2%. Meanwhile, share of Freeport McMoran Incorporated sold by 29%. The company announced its intention to cut its production as well as reduce its capital expenses in order to improve its financial condition hurt by falling metal prices. Separately, billionaire investor Carl Eakin disclosed a stake in the miner late Thursday, saying the company's shares are undervalued according to a feeling. It was a quick review of the US stock market. Have a nice trading with InstaForex.